Welcome to today's five good minutes, considering the season of Advent with Kay Warheit. In this last week of Advent before Christmas, in these podcasts, we've looked at God's attribute of love. In the season of waiting or Advent, we are one day closer to Christmas Day and the waiting will be over. Or will it be? My husband and I recently purchased a folk art clock that's a 12-inch colorful blue, teal, and orange ceramic bird that looks to the left and whose bird legs are the pendulum. After we hung the clock, I became aware of the constant tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock that was counting out the seconds of my life. I wasn't sure that I could ever get comfortable with that constant ticking. But after a while, we realized that the clock was hung slightly off balance and we adjusted it. The sound of the ticking was somewhat reduced. But that tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock made me aware of the passing of my life second by second. In the silence of my home and in listening to the ticking, I became attentive to my passing thoughts as well. Am I wasting time thinking of things that don't really matter? Do I spend seconds that lead to minutes that build to hours of my short life on this earth thinking negative thoughts or considering conversations from the past or possible conversations that will probably never take place in the future? Are my fleeting thoughts about prayers that I tell people I'll say on their behalf or am I really thinking vain and selfish thoughts? Is it possible to be joyful and pray continuously as we read in 1 Thessalonians 5.17, giving thanks at all times. Advent is about second-by-second waiting. And in the waiting, there is a kind of adventure, which is defined as a daring and exciting activity. Waiting for the arrival of the Messiah is exciting. For adults, the Advent season seems to go by quickly, but for children, it can be the slowest month of the year, waiting for Christmas Day. But through the eyes of a child, we get just a taste of those Israelites who waited hundreds of years for the prophet's words from Isaiah to Micah to be fulfilled in the Messiah's arrival on earth. And then when Jesus, who fulfilled over 400 prophecies, arrived on earth, there were and still are those who do not acknowledge the Son of God, Son of Man, come to earth. Like our three-year-old grandson who thought if he squeezed his eyes tightly shut, nobody could see him, and he could reach for the forbidden cookies on the dining room table, nobody would know he took one. We, too, can close our eyes to the reality of the real miracle of Christmas and reach in the darkness of this world for meaning or significance at the arrival of Jesus on earth. Our God, who is love, knows our every action and thought, and in his attribute of long-suffering, he patiently waits for every human being on earth to open their eyes to his Son, to accept Jesus as the only way to God through his life and death and resurrection. Without the true understanding of the awe and worship of our Savior, whose birth we celebrate, we remain in the dark and we're left empty. Oswald Chambers wrote, Just as Jesus came into human history from outside, so he must come into me from outside. Ask yourself, have I allowed my personal human life to become a Bethlehem for the Son of God, to be born in me? How do we begin to open our hearts to allow Jesus to be born in each of us? Jeremiah twenty nine thirteen. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. The Message Bible translation reads, When you get serious about finding me and want it more than anything else, I'll make sure you won't be disappointed. That's our God of love. As the seconds of our lives go by so very quickly, let us seek him and find him. Let us adore him. Let us give him our heartfelt worship, just as those high angels sang and the lowly shepherds worshiped over 2,000 years ago. They sang, they took time to go, and worship the newborn king. May we each spend not just seconds, but minutes that add up to hours of singing praises to this God of love who creatively sent his son to earth in the darkness of time. And for those whose hope is in God, we wait again for the return of the Messiah. 
Revelation 22, 21. Jesus is coming again. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Our Advent then continues second by minute by hour in this world. May our Christmas worship and praise be a blessing to the Christ child this year. Blessed Christmas. Thanks for joining us here today. There's a lot of great content to explore on Orchard Hill Plus and on the Orchard Hill main feed from the weekend. Have a great day.